Hey everyone, welcome back to EU4 Common Sense. Uh, well, yeah, Common Sense, but also Lex Talionis mod as the Commonwealth. Um, so that's something cool. And yeah, we're currently at war with Nov... No guy. No guy, Gorod. No guy, Gorod. Because uh, they're funny, uh, they're, f they're funny little uh, enemies of ours. Uh, he kind of wants to fight us, but he's kind of too weak to do actually, yeah, to actually do anything. Whoa, 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 this escalated quickly. Gee, Muscovy. What's going on here? What's going on here? That did actually escalate rather quickly, wow. So luckily some of these peasants fighting each other. Oh, wow, that was... Alright, let's actually you go in here. And then you go to Basarabi. Now, luckily... We're gonna have one of these uh, separatists fought. Then the other one will be dealt with quickly. And then it's only peasants, so that's really not a big deal. Not a big threat. So we've been able to defend, but that kind of stopped our siege progress. Okay. And you go to here now. Well, I guess don't be a bitch. You can kill this army on the way. And then you can go to fucking over here. With the, together with this guy. Apparently, Ria's on a fort, but that's fine. Yeah, so we're sieging Astrakhan, then we're gonna be able to peace out. All of this to. Uh, why? Every single time. Every time. I hate it. I hate it so much. Why, why does it. Is this always a thing? This is. It, and of course they attack us. I, I'm really not a big fan of this, I have to admit. This is it's just so stupid. It's just so stupid, really. We're almost done, ready to peace out, and what happens? Right, uh, fucking rebels take all over all of my provinces. That I so desperately need to take over. Right, this... Uh, Eh, I'm really unhappy about this. Go here. Go here. Alright. Go home. Riga is where your home is. Alright, we've been attacked again. Uh. Okay, we got help. Thank you. From somebody I didn't actually expect to help us. Alright, so we're gonna take Sarutsan and uh, this one. Gonna siege it quick, and then hopefully we're gonna be able to uh, get everything we want. Yeah, Timurids, you're bankrupt. I, I do know that. I just don't really care. I'll give this all to Muscovy. Alright, we've taken this one as well. Okay, so... Peace him out. He's probably not going to accept. Way too many provinces. Oh, actually, he do it does? Yeah, he accepts. How much money was he willing to give us? Okay, I'm fine with this because I really just wanted... Yeah, not much commitment. That's that's really the, all that. That's what I'm all about. Not too much com commitment here. Alright, we're going to send this guy, probably Kazan. Mm, no, probably down here. Cool. Alright, that was good. Do you still have any cores? I doubt it. Uh, do you, yeah. He still only has this one in Crimea. And then only claims in Novgorod. Okay, that's cool. Do I want to attack him? He's still allied to the Ottomans. Something I don't really fancy fighting. So still, the only one who has not decided is France. So we have, again, Spain, Naples, the Ottomans, Norway, Saxony, the Hansa. Um, oh my god. Against Austria, Hungary, me, Commonwealth. Oh, for fuck's sake. Fuck you, Cedarats. I hate you. I've been paying so much money. Finland. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Does Finland just all of a sudden 
Finland has personal unions with Denmark, Norway, the Platinum, and Savoy. Um, yeah, because that makes sense. All right, so apparently, once again, I need to uh, keep an army over here to pacify my vassals' provinces. Um. Are these already... Oh my god. He's already having a hard time uh, converting his provinces. Why do you gotta make it harder? You poor Catholic dude. Seriously. I'm actually running out of manpower now. I, I did not expect this to ever happen again. Alright, this guy's going over here. So we're gonna have to stop him there. This guy's gonna go to somewhere I can't actually do much about it. Yeah, so this was Catholic before, I definitely know that. And I think what I will do... I will... Okay, so this one was actually Orthodox, so that... Okay. Okay, so... Yeah, okay. He doesn't actually convert any promises yet. Except for this one. Right, let's give me the new technologies, the new troops, just everything new, please. Try to stay up to date as much as possible. What can we get? Uh, infantry, soldati. Uh, yep, I'll take them. Eastern Turkey would also be possible. He's actually attacking with 3,000 men into 10,000. Uh, all right. Well, this one's already orthodox, so let's take him this. Let him take the Sunni province, and then let him take you know other the other ones down here. It's just gonna make it easier. Are you coring your stuff now? Still not really coring anything. Yeah, still no cores. Did he start coring this one though? He did. All right. So he's doing something. He's doing what he can. Okay, he's finally going over there, taking the, uh, taking care of the Sunni province. Hopefully, he'll come down here and you know siege these as well. Hopefully, I can by that time finish this one to stop him. You know, I'm doing a mistake. I can I can get so many more idea slots. This is amazing. I just I don't know have the points. You know? I don't have the points. Alright, so we're five years ahead, so let's actually get recruitment size garrison. Alright. We've finally gotten that. Go to Penza. Actually Symbiosk Sunni, yeah, let's go to Penza. Actually, yeah, now let's let's kill this guy. It's fine. He's at least converted one province, but now he's gonna walk around stupid like a retard the entire time. I don't I don't really like. Not a fan of that. And I could also do inflation. Yeah, let's actually do that. Just so we're never gonna be bothered with that again. Alright. Uh, my firstborn son. Oh, okay, I have a son now. Okay, well, that's good, actually. We have a son, Stefan. Cool. I like him. He seems like a cool lad. But yeah, Muscovy gotta get his shit together. Jesus. He's... Oh, my God. And just when I, uh... You know, when, when you thought everything is fine... He gets the new rebels on the other side of his country. And once again, we get some extra free manpower to attack the Ottomans. I'd very much like to do that, actually, but... That will trigger the leagues, will it not? Wow, so many more people, Savoy, joining this league. It's amazing. They're gonna have to declare the war at some point, don't they? 
I mean, I would. Still, I'm waiting on France, really. They're at war with Achillea and Hungary. Alright. Now, shipyards. Probably something I should build. So let's build them... Yeah, build them here. Basically everywhere. We don't have that much of a coastline, so it's fine. Everywhere we can. Scotland and England are at war. Well, that's nothing unusual. Oh, wow. Actually teamed up to take on my army, but I think I have the better general. Which is why I won. Hehehe. <laughs> Alright, take care of this, which is being converted rather than, you know, anything else. Permian separate. What the heck? Where did they come from? Jesus Christ. We have just taken. We've just dealt with the other rebels. Where did they come from all of a sudden? Holy balls. This is insane. This guy is like the worst vassal. I've not expected that Muscovy is such a bad vassal to have. I mean, of course I gave him some overextension, but you most, most I'm feeding him now are his cores. He doesn't have to do anything about it. Except, well, okay, I guess converting them. But, you know, that doesn't take that long. Lose, gain inflation. We have inflation reduction now, so that's fine. Can you at least unseed your stuff? No. He's too stupid to do even that. Alright, uh, you, please. Yep, kill that. Before he, uh, sieges the province? Probably not gonna happen. Yeah, okay, of course he sieged it. Right. Because how else could it be? Right, kill him. We're at least killing them quickly with our good general now. Alright, let's uh, besiege everything as quickly as possible, and then meet up again and unsiege other provinces. Alright, he's actually unseaging stuff. Cool. And he's also coring a province. Now I think this core is gone by now. No, it's gonna be gone 1591. Alright. So... All right, well, send the dudes. Okay, so we have a couple of years left, and we should probably declare war on Crimea. Still allied to the Ottomans, though. That is just really what is annoying. It's so powerful. Wow, and he just gained another rebellion. Novgorod. What is Novgorod doing? Are you unseaging this? No. Okay. Wow, he's just getting another rebellion. This guy. Golden Horde Separatists. Wow. It feels almost like my Muscovy game over, uh, you know. Muscovy uh, multiplayer game again. It's just the same thing. And it's, but this time, oh, Friesland has joined the Republic. Okay, but that's still not Utrecht. I was, I'm really hoping for Utrecht, although, is the Netherlands are not on our side. Actually, they have not decided yet, have they? Uh, what is their flag? That one, right. Yeah, they haven't decided yet. Mm. Actually, that was stupid. Because these 5,000 men... Yeah, well, actually, they win, but still. Oh my god, he wants to arrive in Tombaugh. Moscow is bankrupt again. No, that means he is losing everything. Give him the high constable then. Golden Horde Separatists. Now actually, you get rid of that. That's fine. There you go.
So we siege that one province. And then we siege this back as well. Yeah, Muscovy is bankrupt too often. Way too often. Um Jesus, what's his with these rebels? Constantly. What is his deal? Right, give me that good leader. Kill them dead. What are those guys now? Nobles again. Alright. I hate that they immediately start out with occupying a fucking fort. Why is that? I mean, they can have, like, some random provinces. I don't give a crap, but why does it have to be a fucking fort? It takes forever to siege. Alright. How about you siege this one first? And we're gonna go over here. You actually get that one useless leader. Peasants are no longer dissatisfied. Well, great luck. Yeah, I'm not making that much money to actually subsidize Muscovy at this point. Kind of have to look after my own country, you know? Especially with the religious wars dooming. I'm actually not too fond... Oh, I'm not actually looking forward to these wars at the moment, to be quite honest. Did his course stop? Yeah. Ah, uh, why are you bankrupt, Muscovy? Oh, this is so bad. Alright, but my first daughter has been born, so that is cause for some celebration. Now, obviously, we have to siege a fucking fort again. We've been able to siege Mo uh, Novgorod quickly, so that's good. Sweden wants an alliance. Right, but not sure if I'm willing to give it to them. They've actually taken... Wow, oh, okay, so they now lead it, you know, with the Savoy. No longer Denmark, though. It seems like in this mod, personal unions are more often likely to happen, but they're not as stable. I think that's a, I think that makes things more realistic. But if you're not used to it, like if you're used to vanilla, which most people are, it is definitely frustrating. Um, I still think that you know, nah, oh, fuck you. I still think that one thing that that uh, happened with Lithuania here, I think that was still a bug. But nonetheless, um, you know. Other than that, I think it's a, actually a great idea. It just, I don't know. If you're not used to it, it really makes things odd. And you feel cheated. So where's that province? Crutchley, Lutchley. Let's get 20,000 men over there. Because I can. So I would very much like to build some better forts. What's this? Attrition for enemies and local defensiveness. That sounds like a very nice building mm, that I would like to build. Barracks. Oh, there's a supply limit. Barracks give supply... Barracks? Regimental camp gives supply limit. Yes, please. Um, enforce limits. Right. Let's build that. Of course. So let's build that in... Well... Here. No. Somewhere in the center. Like in the capital. Yeah. Oh, okay. So these buildings give supply. Well, that's something. I need more money. Jesus. I need more money. I thought we were making good on money. But yeah. The problem is... Yeah, just the army is so expensive, really. People sanctioned for our dynasty, we don't need it anymore. Can we get, like, uh, some money? National tax. How much tax are we making? We're actually making more of production, but I'll take it. 
Pope, give me give me money, please. Yeah. Right, let's build this again. We need some chance. Anyways, that was the end of the episode. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Steve Franca, signing.